before the video starts, please read the description as it will contain a lot more detail about the project if you don't know about it already, as well as some additional compatibility information for various vehicles. Also, I now have an Odyssey channel in addition to my YouTube channel, so if you would like to watch my videos ad-free and for free, go sign up on there and check my channel out, link in the description. So this is going to be a very, very quick video to show the initial requirements for the Ultimate NAG52 project. To begin with, you need to remove your key from your ignition if that's still in. This way, there's no power connected to the TCM whilst we go have a look at it. Secondly, if you're in a 203 or 211 chassis, your TCM will be connected somewhere in there. I'll show you how to reach to it. If you're in a different model vehicle, you might have to look up how to go ahead and uh, remove it to check it. So let's begin. Firstly, in the passenger footwell, you want to take down this carpet here and fold it all the way back. And then behind here, there's another act there's an actual uh, panel here. So you're going to want to slowly peel this back to reveal this piece of foam. Then you want to lift this piece of foam up. There's like two clips down here holding it in. You want to pull up and out, and then this folds back. Then you have to go ahead and remove one, two, three bolts in order to remove this back plate. Now with the bolts removed, this pulls out and up and you can flip it over to reveal the transmission computer, which is this module over here. Now from here, what you are essentially looking for is the fact that this right hand connector here only has three cables. So there's a plus 12 volt cable, the ground cable, which is the brown one, and the K-line communication for diagnostics, which is this green and white one. You basically just want to make sure that there are only three cables on this side. If you have three cables, that's great. That means that you can run the custom Ultimate NAG52 controller. If you have more than three cables, that means unfortunately you can't since the selector module here is hardwired to the transmission computer rather than communicating to it over CAN bus, which is something that it currently does not support. If you have three cables on here, please do let me know what car you have if you're on a 203 or 211, and more specifically, if you have a 203, is it the facelift edition, which looks like this, or is it the pre-facelift, which has, which looks a bit uglier on the interior? I would be genuinely curious to know which exact cars support my controller and which ones will not. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and just be sure to put all this back together when you're done, so you don't drive around like this. Uh, but it is just literally doing it back in reverse order. Anyway, like, comment, share and subscribe and all that, and I'll see you sometime soon with an update.